Hey hoes. <laughs> this is my boyfriend. <laughs> I know, not me. <laughs> <laughs> hey hoes, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been here in a long time, maybe about a month, even though I just started YouTube, um, but it's because I've been in like a creator's blog, I started a new job, I've been very busy, uh, but now I'm back. Um, so today I wanted to do a, just like a random video, just wanted to like get on here and say hi. So today we're gonna do a get ready with me using new products I bought. Um, I bought a lot of products because you know when you're in quarantine you got nothing else better to do but to online shop. We got some goodies, so let's get started. So before I get started with anything, I wanted to start with this new NYX primer. I heard this is like the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip dupe. Um, so let's find out. Um, so I'm just gonna dab a little bit on. It's like a very cooling um cooling feeling it's not doesn't feel as thick as a hydro grip usually i use like a silicone based primer but i don't know my skin's been dry because of the winter um so i just wanted to like use something that's not drying but this is definitely hydrating i must say um I don't, it's not that sticky maybe it'll get stickier later i'm actually not gonna apply foundation right away because i have to do my brows so, you know, oh, I don't know what happened here. I'm just gonna glue down my brows like I always do. I, like I said, I was in like in a creative block. I mean, I have been still doing some creative things. I've been sewing, I've been making outfits. I made this like very cute um, bodysuit corset, which is not quite done yet. I'll show it, show it on my Instagram when it's done but um, that's been taking a lot of my time. Honestly, been really cold in New York. Um, it's like, I think today was like 20 degrees or something. I'm just like, I haven't left my house in like three days to do anything. Okay, so while I wait for the brow to dry, um, I'm gonna just get started with my foundation. I'm just gonna use this TV paint stick because I don't have anything new. And I usually don't buy new foundation that often because I already have like, a hundred of them. So you just gotta use what you already have. I don't know about this primer, not gonna lie. It doesn't feel like the Hydro Grip. Um, it doesn't feel as sticky, uh, which maybe some people don't like the stickiness of it. It's, I don't know. It's definitely more hydrating, I think. Um, but it's definitely not a dupe. I can't really say it's a dupe. Oh my god, I just realized I didn't set my brows before I put... Um... Yeah, let's just powder it right now. Um, uh, oh, this never has happened to me before. Oh god, this is gonna be a disaster. I was not thinking, I was literally waiting for it to dry. It looks fine, it looks... I mean, maybe this is like the new thing that I just discovered. Maybe it works, who knows. Like now I have powder all over my eyes. Ooh, this is a messy look. I clearly haven't done makeup in a whole month because I don't remember the steps to take. Okay, well, now that I powdered my brows after I put my foundation on, or like, I'm gonna put more foundation on anyway. Um, so I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. I used it before, but it was on prosthetics. So I'm curious to see how it forms on like, normal skin. And I, mm, I don't know if this is the right color. Um, I mean, it's close enough, whatever. This is already a disaster. <laughs> okay, this foundation has really good coverage. It's definitely matte, um, full coverage, as you can tell. My brows kind of look messy, not gonna lie. But you know, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. So like, I don't know about this primer because I feel like my foundation is like going, it's like falling into the creases, like my laugh line or my smile line. And that like never happens with the, the Hydro Grip or my silicone primer. So I'm a little confused. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. It's like the foundation is just like falling in, it's like into the cracks, which is not cute. It could also be the foundation, but no, I don't 
No, actually, I don't think it's a foundation. Okay, and now I got my base foundation on. I'm gonna start with my contour. So I'm gonna use this TV pink stick and the 25 though, that is not. Okay, so I just gotta say, very off topic, but there has been a lot of seasons of Drag Race in the last couple days or months. Um, we have the US Drag Race, we have the UK Drag Race, Australia is filming right now, Holland just finished not that long ago. Um, I mean, honestly, I love it. I love drag and watching the drag. Um, I mean, the US one, it took a while for them to like start eliminating people, which was like kind of annoying because I'm like, it's like, it's nice that they're letting people, like, especially the early out queens are giving them more time. But I don't know. It's like kind of boring when no one's getting eliminated. I don't know. I really love the drama this season. I mean, Candy giving us lots of drama. And I know I've said this before and I knew it um, and I love it. I'm living for it. This is what I've been looking for. I've been waiting for, especially an untucked girl. Is this Drag Race or is this Bad Girls Club? There's about to be like a fist fight. <laughs> Considering I haven't painted in a whole month, I'm actually doing, I feel like I'm going really quickly today. Well, it's quicker than usual. I usually like to take my sweet ass time. I could take like four hours just doing my normal look. Um, or like my normal face, um, cause I just like getting into it. Like, I like getting into the fantasy. I like taking my time. It's kind of like therapeutic in a way. And I'm just gonna highlight, put it in the areas I'm used to. I'm actually not gonna highlight too much on my um, brow bones today cause I'm planning on doing something different today. Uh, but I'll let you know what that is. <laughs> I bet y'all can't guess what that song's from. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can, actually. I'm gonna use this Juvia's Place concealer because I don't think I've used it before. Um, oh. Mm, that's very light. That's okay, though. It'll work. Okay, now that I'm done with my highlighter and contour, I'm gonna just set my whole face. I am like out of this. I've had this setting powder probably for like two years now. I just keep on buying setting powder and I just never get rid of them. Smack that bitch. Smack that ass. Uh, and look, nothing came out. Mm. Got it. I got the job done. I got it. Okay, so while I was off the camera, I did some baking. Um, but for my brows, I am gonna use these new products from Alexa Stone, the Sensorium Beauty Brow Engineer. I don't know if you guys seen this on Instagram or on YouTube, but this product is supposed to give you like that bleach brow effect, that very like high fashion look. Um, so I got all three of them. I am probably gonna just use the platinum today to do my brows and apparently you could use this for as like a concealer or to like cut your crease so I'll probably be doing that as well um this says it's a luxe brow mascara oh yes there's like a mascara wand in there so you could put it on your actual brow I won't be using that because my brows are gone um it's long wearing smudge resistant for full defined brows comb upwards in all directions okay I won't be doing that you carve your brows with it um yeah, and it's a cool tone blonde. So I'm very excited to use this. This is Alexa Stone's first product that she released through with Sensorium Beauty. Um, and what I like about this is that it's a very unique product. Um, I think nowadays it's like very hard for people to come up with new brand, brand ideas, new, just like new products, especially in beauty. It's so saturated. There's so much in the space that I think everyone has already like kind of made, but this is something I've never seen before. Um, I know people used to do it with concealer, but this is definitely, oops. Uh, this is meant for your brows. Um, so it's, it comes in like a little squeeze tube and it has a little mascara wand. It's very cool. Maybe right there. It is very full coverage. Let me just blend it up a bit. Product. I'm gonna be using it to draw my brows. So today I'll be doing a white brow. Um, I've done it a few times. Alexis Stone is known for just doing a white brow or like that like white brown highlight, but no brow. Um, so I'm excited. So let's just carve out 
that brow. Oh, this is like very nice. Oh, that's very nice. Let me just fix up the shape. It dries down very quickly, so you do have to work quick. Okay, so I did the other eye off, off camera and actually did another layer and it's like very pigmented. I am loving it. Um, it looks a little crazy right now, but we're getting there, we're getting there. We all look crazy. It's not about the journey, it's about the destination. Um, so yeah, let's get started on the eye. So today I am gonna use these two new e.l.f. Bite size eyeshadows. Um, this one's like a neutral and this one's like a pink. I've heard amazing things about it. It's also like $3 for just this. So yeah, I might use both of them just to mix them. I'm very excited. I think it's gonna be a very neutral eye, which I don't, I really do. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm also gonna use these new makeup brushes I got for Christmas for my boyfriend. It's like the Spectrum in the Mickey Mouse Fantasia collab. I absolutely love Disney. I'm a Disney person, especially... Oh, got some gas. Um, especially um, Fantasia Mickey, so I'm so excited to use these. Um, they feel great, they're so soft. I also have a lot more, there's just a few. Um, but yeah, let's just start it. I guess this is a rose water palette. I think I'm gonna go with this like dark brown and just like deepen the corners of my eye or the outer corner. And just really create that dimension. And it, it's like this brown, but it has like this pink shimmer in it. Um, you can't really see the shimmer. Oh, you can, kinda. And I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do like a smoky pulled eye look. I haven't really planned a eyeshadow look for today. Just kind of wanted to like play around with makeup and just like kind of chat um and like you know if we f up whatever like it's just makeup oh it blends really well like it blends very very well okay okay l i see you oh my god for three dollars girl i don't need to buy expensive makeup anymore like it blends really well like I got this new e.l.f. eye stickers that I was planning on using. Is it too late? Maybe not actually. So it helps you like create that like sharp eye look. Um, they're like, they're, ooh, they're 90 cents at Target. So I'm like, might as well. Look, ooh. Yeah, you're supposed to like do that. And so like when you peel it off, you have like this very tight eye look. And it's not sticking though. Maybe you're supposed to do it like when you don't have foundation on, but now I'm gonna get this. Um, I don't know what color to describe that. It's like, it's like a cool tone pink, like a purplish pink. Um, I don't know, let's just, let's just try it, whatever. And I'm just going to start here and use it as a transition shade. Now that I'm done with the shadows, I'm gonna go cut my crease. I'm gonna use the Sensorium Beauty Brow Engineer because I think this will be amazing. Like I can probably, I can already tell. It's gonna like really cut the crease, girl. So for my eyelids, I'm gonna use these new e.l.f. Um, glitter, what are they called? I don't know. They're like the they're like Stila dupes, I guess the Stila Stila glitter eyeshadow dupes. Um, so yeah, I I hope it performs as well as the Stila ones, but we'll see. So I'm gonna use this for my lids, and I'm gonna use this for my inner corner. Um, so let's just get started. I think we just go directly into my eyelids with this. The glitters are a lot chunkier, I must say. But it's not bad, actually. It's pretty, it's pretty. I also realized I don't need this tape. So let's just, oh. Oh, oh I love this tape. Oh my God. Ooh, I look snatched. Ooh. Okay, and then for my inner corner, I am going to use this one. Maybe, let me, let me just test it on my, swatch it on my hand first. Cause I don't want, yeah, that works. It's like, it's right there. Yeah, that's, that's cute. Um, let me just use this. I don't know if I wanna go directly in, it's a little aggressive. But this um, glitter piece is a lot smaller. Like the the pink one I just used, the pinky nude one is very 
big. I'm like gagged by this look. It's really good. Was not expecting it, especially since I haven't played around with makeup in a whole month. I literally thought I forgot how to do makeup. I am going to just like finish Touch this up a bit, do the other eye, and I'll be right back. And now I'm back and I did the other eye, so now I'm just gonna go into bronzing. I'm just gonna use this MAC one because I don't have a new bronzer. Um, so I'm just gonna warm up the face. You know, just gotta bring some color back into the face. This is a really nice bronzer. This is, I've been using this since I feel like I've gotten it when I like first started drag. And it's like, I still have it. I'm pretty sure it expired, like, I don't recommend it, but like, honestly, using your makeup past the expiration date is not a big deal. Um, I do it all the time. I'm gonna go deep in my contour. This, this is the Melt Cosmetics one I use quite often. Ooh, that might be a little too much. Contour my double chin, because I need to. She got lots of chins here. And that's what's great about contouring. You can get rid of any fat you want. Well, not any fat, but you know what I mean. And now we're gonna move on to the blush. I am gonna use this Patrick Ta blush. It's one of my favorite. It is like this orangey pink shade. Um, it's called, I think, Do We Know Her? Like, do we even really know her? And so we're just gonna go in and start with the powder and then I'm gonna go with the the cream blush afterwards, just so that my face doesn't look so matte. I'm now gonna go use my Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter collab with Nick Tutorials. It's called Glazed Donut. Um, it's one of the best highlighters out there. So I'm just gonna put it at the tip of my nose. Ooh. And I really like this because it's not like glittery, but it's like also blinding. Um, you can see that, you can tell, look. So this is obviously the highlighter without it. And now we're gonna put some highlighter on here too. I just wanna... I want that cheekbone to pop. And then for my lips, I'm gonna use these um, Juvia's Place um, lipsticks I got. I don't know which color to use. So this one is like, like a pinky nude, um, beautiful. It also smells beautiful. And this one is called Mademoiselle. And this one is like a more of a nude. It is still a pinky nude, They're very similar. Let me check. Oh, this one's a little bit more pink than the other one is. Kind of like in this one, I'm gonna line it and probably put some gloss on too. I chose this lip liner and this like purple, Plum-ish color. Uh, I can't even think today. Oh my god. Um, and then I'm gonna use this color 2020. Ooh, not 2020, girl. But this color is called hashtag 2020. Mm, I'm trying to forget 2020. So before I get started with my lips, I want to, you know, prep my lips. And so I got this new lip scrub called Tree Hut Sugar Lips. So let me just try this. Oh, mm, seal it for your protection. Oh, yeah, so it's like this, I think it's sugar. Um, yeah. It smells minty. Am I allowed to eat this? I think so, it's sugar. It's called sugar lips. Okay, so I'm just going lips, cause I, lips tend to get dry. I can't say it tastes great. Uh, it, it definitely made my lip very smooth. It like, it looks nicer, I must say. It does look nicer. I'll give them that, I'll give them that. But that was weird, that was very weird. Okay, so I'm going to, I still have sugar all over me. Mm. It's a little annoying, whatever. So I'm gonna go in with this lip liner and let's get to lining. So I like to, uh, I don't like to, Still more sugar. Yeah, I should not talk while I do this, but I really like to overline my lips to make them nice and fat. Got my lip liner on, and now I'm gonna get hashtag 2020 on. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like vanilla. Oh. I think it's supposed to be like a matte, like a velvet matte. It definitely feels really good. It's very soft and very comfortable on the lip, 
Like, it's, this is something you could wear all day and like, oh, I love this. Julia's place, she did it. Oh my God. I definitely need to buy these in every color. I don't know, it looks amazing though. It looks great. It doesn't look like a butthole. Like, I hate it when matte lipsticks make your lips so dry. Like, a, like literally, it looks like a butthole. I mean, she's not here for the butthole. So I just realized I got this Tower 28 lip jelly, so we're definitely gonna use this in this purple. Um, it looks purple, but it's actually very sheer. Tower 28 has, like, the best lip jellies. They're amazing. Um, so I'm just gonna put some on. See, like, you can put it on with this, like, no color. I know they have the new ones that have more color to it, but it's a great lip gloss. It's not sticky. It really absorbs into your lips, which you don't really find in there. I think it's also vegan, um, so I love it. So that's it with the makeup. I'm just gonna go off screen and just do some finishing touches, and I'll be right back. This is the final look I'm serving you all, Grecian Goddess, um, and this human hair unit by Cash Studios. It is amazing. It looks like it's growing out of my scalp, girls. Well, maybe I did grow it in the last like five minutes. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I hope to see you all next week. Bye.